was born in Sutherland. I was a little farm girl. <laughs> and I was a little bit taken back by having to work so hard and be in the sun a lot. Mm -hmm. So I told myself I had to get out. <laughs> After leaving elementary school with one teacher for, for all seven grades, and then going to high school and seeing these different teachers, and they had teaching different subjects and all that. And that's how I decided I was going to be a teacher. When I applied for jobs in the uh, government, they didn't come through, but the teaching job came through. So I taught uh, a couple of years, and then I got a call to Dahlgren, and that was in 1956. Uh, being a teacher and not knowing anything about computers, we never learned anything in school about computers. And you come here, and we were going to use this computer, and it was a humongous thing, you know, taking up the whole room. And what we would do, we had algorithms that were coded in, and then we would have to collect the data from the satellites and process it through the program. So we worked on geoid heights, the undulations, defining them and identifying them by the use of satellites, and did the same thing with uh, for the orbits. I was just proud that I could stand up with, with those great scientists and understand what they were saying and talk back to them and program and code for them. So to me, that was a big thing. I think we've sort of taken great strides toward e equality as far as their positions are concerned. So if you're a girl and you're interested in it, in engineering, be an engineer. You, know, you don't know where your talents are until you sort of experiment. I tell them, go for it.